Hi guys, this is JC. Welcome to my very first studio vlog. In today's first studio vlog, I'm going to be putting together my Kanban board. I'm going to be taking my calendar and um, writing out my some of my schedule. And then I also have another board that I, I have all three that I use um, in conjunction with each other. And I use that with my planner. So in addition to running Mother-esque Bath and Body, um, I also have another shop called Lacey Lane Designs Co. And then I run a blog that is called The Mompreneurial Life. That's because I'm a mom to nine. Yes, you heard right. I'm a mom to nine. So if I can run two businesses and a blog, and right now I'm actually working outside of the home too, then you can too. So if you guys want to see all this stuff together, behind the scenes, stuff that I'm doing here in the shop, stay tuned. Please consider giving this video a like, following, commenting. I'm here to uh, share my journey and I hope that you guys will come along too. So let's get into the video. <laughs> I'm going to share a couple tips with you before I get busy. So number one is, you'll notice I'm actually already dressed. That's because I found that if I actually get dressed and put my hair up, put some makeup on, I will actually get more done than if I don't do that. If I'm in my pajamas all day, I'm probably going to try to sit on my couch and then I get sleepy. <laughs> because of my work, I will fall asleep. So um, yeah. That's my number one tip, get dressed. And it's just like a mental stimulation to your brain that you're gonna, like, it's time to work, okay? Um, number two, in my line of business, um, I have to wear gloves when I'm creating and packing. But number two tip, when you run out of gloves, because, you know, you're gonna do that and you don't get things ordered and you over, you know, don't think about it, get yourself some of these. Really, really cheap gloves. You can get these at Family Dollar. So, tip two. All right. These are my lotions. If you guys like Egyptian musk, super nice on your hands. So here's a closer look. And these, I just got labeled not terribly long ago and I need to get these put away. And then these, this is for Lacey Lane. This is my Daily planner. It's just a 30 day supply of the same, basically the same page where you just write out your goals. It's just a real easy, convenient way, a desktop planner to keep track of all your stuff. This is what I filled up my lotions with, and I really love it. Definitely recommend. So, if you're a soap maker and you want an easy way to fill up your, oops, your lotions, this is the manual one. It's just really easy. So, Another tip, I'm just gonna be full on today. This, this label right here, I actually made this waterproof myself. So I ended up actually going, printing out, designing and printing out my own labels, cutting them out, and then I waterproofed them with this sucker. That's right, if you guys do wanna see any more tips on how to make labels or how I do it myself, go ahead and comment in the section below and I will try to get that uh, made for you guys because I know as a business owner myself, I'm always constantly checking out different ways of doing things to see, you know, if I can improve in any way or save cost. So, all right, I just wanted to throw that in real quick so you guys could see there are options out there, so.
All right, so this is my weekly board. I got this great big board here at Hobby Lobby a while ago. And this is actually an older schedule of mine. Um, this is when I was actively doing Beachbody and coaching in that, and then I'm working out every day with Beachbody. So that's where you can see it. Um, I have to um, basically erase the Beachbody because I'm not, um, I'm not actually active right now. I do love their programs, but I'm not active right now because I'm really working on my other businesses. But anyway, I'm keeping basically everything else the same. So you can see that, you know, Sundays I'm working on my vlog. Mondays I work on, you know, my bath and body business. And then I'm going to really try to work on YouTube videos. This is just kind of generally my schedule for the week. This is basically what I'm doing. So I have every day of the week, but I am allowing myself Sundays if I don't want to work at all. That is my day of complete rest. Um, I just put it on there because a lot of times when I'm just sitting there resting, I still want to do something. So I will write in a blog. I don't have a problem with that because I have kind of ignored my blog a little bit. And this is all stuff I want to get back on when I do give up my outside job, which will be soon. I only had that to really fund expansion with my businesses so um, I did write about this kind of thing um, as you can see up here my little one has been up here and it got me a little bit but um, in my blog post I did share some of the things of why you know I took an outside job so if you want to check it out it's the mompreneurial life okay so there's that then right up here I have my Kanban board and I'm going to write out my goals on there and my little assignments and you'll see that in a little bit and then I'm going to show my actual calendar too. So I'm going to get that out and get busy on that. Okay, I'm back. Um, it is now considerably later. It is actually very late, <laughs> but I'm up. I ended up working on my Kanban board. Um, I could not find my white chalk mark. Uh, my, what is it? Chalk marker, there we are. For And I usually would label, so this would be Mother-esque Bath and Body, Lacey Lane Designs Co. Then I'd have the Montpernier LA and my, um, my vlog. Look how cute that is. Yeah, I thought that would be good. So anyway, I have three different columns, um, and I actually got a lot of this information. I will list her or link her below, but it's Heart Breathings. She has a really good video on Kanban boards. So I basically kind of um, hijacked her idea and then went with my own, but I'm just gonna share what I'm doing here. So I'm just using um, my little memo pads. These are actually gonna be in my shop, but I'm still having them made. So I end up just taking these, printing them off, and I put some washi tape on here. This is my planner that I use for all of my businesses, and I, that's strictly what it is. I don't have to decorate or anything unless I want to, um, but I usually just write with pen, nothing fancy at all. But um, this will be my first, so my first column, I'll just say this is mother-esque. Um, and I would just write the basic, um, so basically you just go down in order of the importance and down on the furthest one is like when you've accomplished your goal. And I don't even know if I'm explaining this very well. Like I said, it's late. So this one here, I will just like purchase your piece of codes for Mother-esque. Okay, so I would put this in my next column down here where I will work on more of these, but I would normally have this probably filled up with at least 10 goals because I like to do this quarterly. So every three months I will change this up. Um, but so that would have gotten moved down since I already did purchase my UPC codes. I will put this down here. Now, this here would be like, my next, I'm working really hard on this one and that's finishing my website because I had a Wix website for Mother-esque before. I heard so much good stuff about Shopify and I decided to make the switch, dropped it, which would end up coming down to my last one when it's done. That's like my complete, I want, my whole goal is to have all these brought down to my last one. Uh, these um, Mother-esque products unfulfilled by Amazon yet. And that will be, <laughs> that is my really, uh, one of my top goals for this quarter is to get this done along with my website getting done. Um, 
So this is just a like an example. I'm not going to obviously go through all my goals and everything and put these up here because that's just private. That's you know my own business goals, but I just wanted to share with you, you know, how I do it. So anyway, that is my process and how I do things um, for my goal listings. And then, of course, I will come back over to my planner and I will write every day my to-do list to get that done. Um, you know, I hope that makes sense. I don't really know if it does or not, but... I do all this in conjunction with each other and I, you know, make sure that I'm always checking to see what I need to get done. And by doing all this, um, I have actually managed to get so much more done than I ever thought possible. So I just thought I'd share with you guys and hopefully you can gain something out of this. And thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you stay tuned. All right, bye.